so this video is in continuation of the previous video which i made for flutter pwa and uh, in that video i told you that how you can create the pwa of your flutter web application and uh, it was not exactly the true pwa so in this video i'm gonna explain more about that and also if you haven't watched that video then also it's fine it's gonna be very simple and i'm gonna give you a better way of doing it in this video uh, and i'll explain what i actually discussed in that video so the overall if you will see this is my um, old video which i did uh, and uh, it was about a Game of Thrones application where we generated a manifest.json and then we tried to make it look like a PWA but it was not exactly a PWA. So in this video I'm gonna tell you exactly how we can do that and uh, before we do that please subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber already also press the bell icon to get future updates. So what was missing in this particular application was um, we actually generated this manifest.json as you can see something like this and then in the index.html we gave reference to manifest.json it created a kind of a pwa but it was not a pwa because a pwa is mostly consists of three things which can be the one is the manifest file then the second thing which we need is service worker and the third thing is that we have to make it https which means it should be secure otherwise you won't be able to register your service worker so that's the thing and uh, although we can run our existing application using like we can create service worker so if i show you uh, this particular uh, code lab from Google where you can migrate your site to progressive web app then you can see that it says that uh, in your code uh, inside your folder what you can do in your web folder you can create a new file let's say sw.js which is a service worker you can copy paste this code which is an empty uh, service worker okay but the problem with this is that it's a lot of manual work even creating manifest was not the best idea at all we used some third party thing and we could write just a normal json and i know a lot of stuff that you might be saying that it's not an installable app and a lot of things i know and it was not a true pwa that's also i know but you should know that how it is being written and then you need to register your service worker like uh, you can copy this code and in your um, js file you will copy it somewhere or maybe in your index.html in the script you will copy it but that's a lot of work right and then also you need to um, make it https then only you will be able to get that so now uh, how we can do that so i'm not gonna explain this particular example this time because there is a third party api which we are using which is for game of thrones tv maze api and that api is um, not actually secure enough to run pwa there will be some issue uh, so that's why i am switching back to my portfolio application and here i will show you exactly how you can do a pwa so good thing is that now when you are doing flutter for web you don't even have to do anything from like uh, you know you don't have to create a manifest yourself you don't have to write your service worker everything comes with flutter now so flutter is basically officially supporting this i could tell you in the previous video but that that's the beauty about this video that i'm gonna show you the full uh, details about that so for using that uh, you must be running the latest flutter channel master or maybe flutter dev but make sure uh, you are here kind of using flutter 1.14.1 .1, and then you, what you have to do you can see in the web i have just a normal index.html nothing else and uh, this is this is just normal thing which i got and then what you have to do in your existing products or in, in uh, existing projects just delete this index.html uh, so that uh, it just not uh, we want to override it so you can go here and you can say flutter create dot space dot which means that just override all the folders with the, the new settings and all those changes and it, you will see it will generate a new index dot html for me as well as you will see it generated a new manifest dot json okay and it's saying that uh, you know start url this theme color and all those things which i actually explained in the previous video and then you will see 
that it also registers our service worker okay so you don't have to do anything honestly and uh, then it will be very simple and then oh, what i'm gonna show you so it's almost done you can do all the changes here if you let's say if you want to change the name if you want to uh, do a short name and all that stuff and then what you have to do you have to deploy it somewhere where it's actually the ssl certificate is there which means uh, it's supporting https so what what is the best method to do that is you can use firebase so you can just say firebase so you have to install firebase tools first so you can write something like uh, npm ig and firebase tools okay and that's already inside my um, this particular uh, laptop and then you can write firebase login which will log in your um, like log into your account right now i'm logged in in mtechwell.gmail.com you can also say firebase logout to change your account and then you will just write firebase in it to create a project for you so basically uh, if we go back to our firebase console you have to create a new project and you don't have to do anything else just create a new project and that's it okay and then when you will go back here in this particular console and you will write firebase in it then it will ask you that uh, wh what service you want to use so it's like database firestore functions hosting so we are gonna select hosting and once we select that then we are gonna press enter so you can see that use an existing project or create a new project so we can say use an, an existing project and then i have few projects so you can select any of them something like that and once you are done with this process then you can just say firebase deploy but before you do firebase deploy you have to run one more thing and that is you have to build your web application so how you are gonna build that so you will say firebase oh sorry not firebase you will say flutter build web so as soon as you will run this command you will see that uh, this will run our application like just let me show you how that will work so um it's gonna generate a build folder as expected and still running and generating some files so now in the build folder we will see we have a web folder we have see you can see flutter service worker it is generated by flutter itself so you don't have to do anything at all okay and then you have manifest.json which is what we wanted right and we have assets we have icons and lot of other stuff now let's try uh, using search so before we do firebase deploy uh, in the previous video i showed you that how you can use something like search and if i do i if i will use search so first of all i will go back to my build slash web folder and from here i can use search so search is basically i told you what it is about okay and then i can give it a url so let's say i say something like pk um, um let's go back to our application and we can now run so if i go back to my previous console you can run firebase deploy here after selecting um so you can just say firebase deploy after selecting your project and it will deploy your application to firebase and it's because it's a responsive application i'm gonna show you how it looks on different screen so let me just show you so here i will write flutter kumar dot web dot app this is the application which i actually um build it using firebase deploy and pwa so you can see how it looks on different screens and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back to my browser and here i'm gonna say uh, flutter kumar dot web dot application and it's you can see this is running now and now you can go to inspect section you can go to application and you can see we have a manifest with all the details here with the icon as well we have a service worker as well so you can see flutter service worker dot js and in the audits part you can also run audit to check the performance and uh, uh, if it is progressive web app or not so let's try to run this although we are using extensions here so it will not give the best result but let's try to run it and uh, then we will see what we get with this 
and you can see it got performance 61 progressive web app and uh, some seo and all those details but it's not the perfect uh, um answer you are looking for a perfect result you are looking for so now i'm gonna just run this on my phone and then we will see um how that looks so i'm back to my phone here and i'm gonna view it and this is my phone as you can see on the screen i'm gonna visit this website this time in the chrome i'm gonna say so you you can see this is flutter kumar web dot application i'm gonna reload it and then you will see add i am the pk to home screen on the bottom if i click here then it will add the real pwa application and i'm gonna just show you i can just remove this from here and then if you will see we have the i am the pk app here and it has this splash screen and as you can see this is the pwa app and if you will click long click here then you can see in the app info you can uninstall this application as well as and so this is a very like a different application itself like how you make apk uh, and uh, like how you have ios application so this is how you can do pwa let me know in the comments if you face any issue and i'm gonna respond there and you can change various things here that how it looks and also we can add offline and caching support in our uh, next videos so let me know in the comments if you are excited about that also um if you feel any problem then also you can just talk to me in the comments i'm gonna uh, definitely reply you there so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yes pwa is here so i'm gonna looking for creating more stuff around this particular thing so thanks for watching and i'll see in the next video